Hey there, kids. We're ramping up for an amazing day at Kingdom Kids here today. But now I think it's time for... Oh, yep. There it is. Well, boys and girls, girls and boys, it's time to welcome to the chair someone who is near and dear to my heart. He's mixed up as usual, and it's our job to help set him straight. Can you welcome with me Mr. Gobbledygook? Gobbledygook, gobbledygook lives inside the trash. Gobbledygook, gobbledygook, help him if you can. He's mixing up the Bible story, mixing up the verse. Gobbledygook, gobbledygook, teach this guy the word. Hey, gobbledygook, are you excited about this week's lesson on the giant? Oh yeah, I heard the story from last week about the big mean Goliath coming to challenge the people of Israel. But I bet the people of Israel had someone even bigger and even stronger to come and beat up that old meanie Goliath. Well, well actually... So who did they get to defeat the giant? A big tree with a beard? A rhinoceros man? Jimbo the giant? Actually, gobbledygook, it was a young man named David who decided that he was going to fight Goliath. A young man? You mean they sent a little boy to fight this giganto man? Oh, you don't think he could do it? Oh, I think little David was, he was probably a nice boy, but come on. This is a giant we're talking about. I just think a little less of him because he was young. Well, what a perfect intro into our power verse for today. Because our power verse says, don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers. 1 Timothy 4.12 God can use anyone, no matter how young or old, big or small. We just need to trust Him. He can use me. He can use you. He can even use you, gobbledygook. Oh, I see. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers. 1 Timothy 4.12 I guess that if God lives in us, it doesn't matter if we're big or small or whatever. God is bigger than every giant in our life. That's a very good point, gobbledygook. Well, kids, why don't we all stand up on our feet, stretch out, shake out, and get ready for our time of praise and worship. 